Hello, pet owners, and welcome back to our channel, where we bring you all the best tips and tricks for pet owners. Today, we're going to be talking about a much-loved and popular pet, hamsters. These adorable little balls of fur have been captivating the hearts of pet owners for years. And it's easy to see why. With their adorable faces, quirky personalities, and endless energy, it's no surprise that hamsters are one of the most popular pets around. However, while they may be cute and cuddly, hamsters can be surprisingly picky creatures. Just like any other pet, they have their own set of likes and dislikes. And today we're going to be talking about the top 10 things that hamsters just can't stand. From the type of food they eat to the types of toys they play with, we're going to be giving you all the information you need to make sure your hamster is happy and healthy. Without further ado, Let's dive into the top 10 things that hamsters hate. Sit back, relax, and get ready to learn all about your furry little friend. Number 1. Loud Noises You know what they say, silence is golden. Well, that's especially true when it comes to our little hamster friends. They are highly sensitive to loud noises, and it can cause them a lot of stress and anxiety. So, if you're looking to make your hamster's environment a peaceful and quiet place, it's important to know what types of noises to avoid. Let's start with the obvious, loud music. Whether you're a fan of heavy metal, classical music, or even pop, your hamster doesn't want to hear it. In fact, even low volume music can be stressful for a hamster. So, if you want to keep your hamster happy, it's best to keep the tunes to a minimum. Next up, we have the dreaded vacuum cleaner. Hamsters hate the sound of vacuums with a passion. The loud motor and the whirring sound can be incredibly stressful for them. So if you're planning on cleaning while your hamster is awake, it's best to give them a heads up and let them find a quiet place to hide. Another noise that hamsters can't stand is loud talking. Whether it's an argument or a heated discussion, loud voices can be really scary for hamsters. So, if you're planning on having guests over, it's best to let your hamster retreat to a quiet corner where they won't be disturbed. Number 2. Bright Lights Bright lights and hamsters just don't mix. These nocturnal creatures are sensitive to light and prefer a dark and cozy environment. So, if you want to keep your hamster happy, it's important to be mindful of the lighting in their habitat. First up, the most obvious one, sunlight. Well, a little bit of natural light is okay. Too much sun can be really overwhelming for a hamster. In fact, too much sunlight can even cause heat stroke in extreme cases. So if you're keeping your hamster in a sunny room, make sure to provide plenty of shade and a cozy hideout. Next up, we have fluorescent lights. These bright and harsh lights can be really stressful for hamsters, causing them to become anxious and agitated. So, if you're keeping your hamster in a room with fluorescent lighting, it's best to provide some form of shade or cover. Bright room lights are another thing hamsters hate. Whether it's a lamp or overhead lighting, bright lights can be really unsettling for hamsters. So, if you're keeping your hamster in a room with bright lights, it's best to turn them off or dim them as much as possible. Number 3. Strong Smells Strong smells and hamsters don't mix well. In fact, they can be downright offensive to their delicate noses. Hamsters have a highly sensitive sense of smell and can easily be overwhelmed by strong fragrances. So if you want to keep your hamster happy, it's important to be mindful of the smells in their environment. The most common offender in this case is scented candles. Whether it's a vanilla, lavender, or citrus scent, these fragrances can be really overpowering for hamsters. So if you're a candle fanatic, it's best to keep them out of reach or avoid using them altogether. Perfumes and colognes are also difficult for hamsters to handle. Whether you're wearing them or have guests over who are, these strong scents can be really overwhelming for hamsters. So if you're planning on having guests over, it's best to ask them to avoid wearing strong fragrances. Hamsters also can't stand the smell of cleaning products. Whether it's bleach, ammonia, or other harsh chemicals, these smells can be really toxic for hamsters. So it's important to avoid using these products around your hamster or to keep them out of reach. 
Number 4. Sudden Movements Have you ever noticed your hamster darting and hiding at the slightest sound or movement? It's not because they're shy. It's because sudden movements can be incredibly stressful for them. As small prey animals, hamsters have evolved to be highly alert to potential danger, and sudden movements can trigger their instinct to flee or defend themselves. So what counts as sudden movement to a hamster? Think about anything that might startle you. A loud noise, someone jumping out from behind a corner, or even just a rapid change in the room's lighting. All of these things can be overwhelming and scary for your hamster. But don't worry, there are ways to make their environment less active and create a calm, safe space for them. First of all, try to minimize sudden movements and loud noises around your hamster's cage. Also, try to provide plenty of hiding places like tubes and tunnels in their cage. Hamsters love to retreat and burrow, so giving them plenty of options to do so will help them feel more secure and relaxed. Number 5. Unfamiliar Objects Hamsters are small and curious creatures that love to explore their environment. However, they can be shy and easily stressed by unfamiliar objects that they've never seen before. So, how do hamsters react to these strange and mysterious things? And what can we do to help them feel more at ease? Well, first of all, it's important to understand that hamsters have a natural instinct to be wary of unfamiliar objects. This is because, in the wild, new things can often mean danger. For example, a strange object could be a predator or a new food source that might make them sick. So, it's not surprising that your hamster might be a bit hesitant when you first introduce a new object into their cage. Now, what kind of unfamiliar objects do hamsters generally dislike? Well, it really depends on the hamster, but some common examples might include bright flashing lights, loud noises, or objects with strong smells. These things can be very overwhelming and stressful for your little furry friend. Number 6. Being Picked Up Are you ready to give your hamster a cuddle session? Before you scoop them up, it's important to understand how they react to being picked up. Hamsters can feel threatened when they are handled, especially if it's done abruptly. So let's learn the proper way to pick up your furry friend and make them feel comfortable in your arms. First things first, let your hamster get used to your presence. Spend some time talking to them, offering them treats and just hanging out near their cage. Once they seem comfortable with you, it's time to move on to the next step. When you pick up your hamster, make sure to use both hands. One hand should support their chest and belly, while the other hand supports their hind legs. This way, your hamster will feel secure and won't squirm around too much. Also, make sure to approach them slowly and calmly so they don't get scared. When holding your hamster, make sure they have a good grip on you, either by holding onto your fingers or clothing. This will help them feel more secure and comfortable. It's also important to remember that hamsters like to hide and burrow, so they might feel more comfortable if they have somewhere to hide, such as a hiding spot in your shirt. Last but not least, don't squeeze your hamster too tight. They have delicate bones and squeezing them too hard can cause them pain or even injury. Just hold them gently and let them snuggle in your arms. Number 7. Lack of Privacy Hamsters are naturally solitary creatures and they need their own space to feel safe and secure. Crowded environments where they're constantly surrounded by noise, activity, and other hamsters can be incredibly stressful for them. But here's the thing. Many hamster cages on the market today are just too small and they don't provide enough space for your hamster to have some privacy. So what can you do to provide your hamster with a private environment? Well, first and foremost, you want to make sure that their cage is big enough. Hamsters need a cage that's at least 24 inches long, so they have plenty of room to move around and explore. You should also make sure that their cage has plenty of hiding places, like tunnels and shelters, where they can retreat to when they need a break from all the noise and activity. Another way to provide your hamster with privacy is to give them their own playtime outside of their cage. This can be as simple as letting them play in a spacious, quiet room for a few hours each day. This way, they get some much-needed exercise, explore their surroundings, and enjoy some peace and quiet. Number 8. Dirty Cages Hamsters are clean creatures, 
and a dirty cage can quickly ruin their day. Imagine if you were stuck in a room with no ventilation, filled with your own waste and old food. Ugh, gross, right? Well, that's exactly how your hamster feels in a dirty cage. So, what constitutes a dirty cage? Unkempt bedding, overflowing food and water dishes, and an improperly cleaned cage. And trust us, your hamster will let you know just how unhappy they are. They may become lethargic, lose their appetite, and even develop health problems. So keep your hamster's crib clean if you want them to stay happy, comfortable, and relaxed. Number 9. Lack of Exercise Hamsters are active creatures and they need to exercise regularly to keep their bodies and minds in tip-top shape. But have you ever noticed that some hamster environments lack opportunity for exercise? First off, why do hamsters need exercise? Exercise helps keep hamsters healthy and reduces the risk of obesity and other health problems. It also helps to keep their minds sharp and reduce boredom, which can lead to destructive behavior. To keep your hamster fit and exercised, be sure to add toys and objects that encourage activity, like tubes, exercise wheels, and climbing structures. Additionally, you can take your hamster out of its cage and let it explore your home or play area. That gives it a chance to stretch its legs and have some fun. Number 10. Poor Quality Food Just like humans, hamsters need a balanced and nutritious diet to thrive. Poor quality food can have serious consequences for your little friend, from digestive issues to malnutrition. But don't worry, we're here to help you steer clear of the junk food aisle and give your hamster the feast they deserve. Let's start with the red flags of low quality food. Watch out for ingredients like fillers, artificial colors, and preservatives. These can cause upset tummies and allergic reactions in your hamster. Another thing to avoid is seed-only diets. While hamsters love their seeds, they need a variety of foods to meet their nutritional needs. Seeds alone won't cut it. So what should you be serving up for dinner? Opt for a high-quality commercial hamster food mix that includes pellets, fresh fruits and veggies, and occasional treats like seeds and nuts. And to ensure your hamster is getting the vitamins and minerals they need, supplement their diets with fresh greens like carrots, spinach, and alfalfa. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. We hope you found it informative and enjoyable. If you're a dog owner, be sure to check out our next video. 21 Things Dogs Hate and Wish You'd Stop Doing. Your furry friend will thank you for it.